quiz. Um, we have prepared. We actually we, we prepared, but we didn't really come up with it. It's, it's actually uh, someone else came up with it. Over here, I have um, I have a piece of code. Uh, the program is not working as it should. Uh, can you all see? So um, when I run this program, uh, it gives me it gives me the wrong value uh, over here. So um, the challenge is to try and add one line uh, to this program to make the program output the correct answer, which is obviously three one four. Let's not predict it correctly. So um, those people who are new to Go, uh, you can actually try running this program on your browser um, by copying this link. So, yeah, if you have your computers, uh, you can bring it up. There's no internet. Just type. Oh, there is. You can use your 3G right now. Or, or else, if you want, you can just read the code directly oh, yeah, and give me the answer right. and I'll type it in. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can just like code, code it directly. <laughs> so, um, you go A colon, A this and B. What is that what is that, that time of expression for? It's a It's the turning operation. So you can add just one line to any part of the program. Go for it. Doesn't matter. Oh, is it? 
question mark. No, you, you have, have to open the question mark. No, we don't have a question mark. Without. Or maybe a. We got it? We got it? Good. Joshua? Okay. We got the answer. Just trust the back to back. Yeah, can, yeah can, can you? You want to type here? Like that, oh, you can yeah. just shout out the, the code if you so want. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it makes it two line hard of a man.
But yeah, after the parenthesis, he will want to create a line there. But this runs. <laughs> Is it one line? Did you run it? Yeah, yeah. And it's one line. What? Oh! Just come for me. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Format, click format. You run format. Oh! So the hint is you can use a goal built-in. Um, it's called copy. So you can try using it. It's just giving you. Sorry. Using it all the time. We're not really making it very specific. The mean micro is no shit. So is there a mean micro in goal? Sorry. Is there a mean micro in goal? Actually, there are many, many ways to do it. So the hint I gave you is just one of the ways. So they are hiring. We're now, we don't, we don't need to apply any. They're always calling for Thank you. 
Should I get this from the internet? I, I'm, I'm thinking like a normal, in a normal language, how you do one line if you use a shorthand ternary, uh, as in using Java and C, right? Uh, so I just said, how to do ternary uh, in Go. Uh -huh. And the first block is, uh, I should have a note. <laughs> Actually, it's a, it's a map which taking. Uh, I understand the structure, but I'm not sure how this works out. No, it works because you're asking for a bull, right? Uh -huh. Then you set the. If a what, what you are setting is that, uh, okay, you have, you have a map that is true and false as the keys and then you have A and B as the values right and then you assign it with a value uh, and you look up the value with A is less than B which then gives you false uh, then mean is a value of the false which is B also the later part is a look, look, look. yes later part is uh, look up by this key which is true uh, or false Oh, this is the key. Oh, this yes, that's the key. It's like a key. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then it was true. Is a key. A is value. So you get the thing, and that's where mean is actually just A or B depending on the statement there. So if you put more than, you'll get mean to be nine thousand. Yeah, if people and other one was in print, then it could form it. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, that works. Well, that case is this. You won't work because the name is probably where you find it. So there's a bunch of the same questions where the A and B are like different in time. You click from the A and B. You click from the A and B. What is the copy? So, this should be true. Alright, so. Audrey. Yeah. What is the uh, copy solution? Okay. Uh, I can show you the copy solution I had. Uh, Sorry? Uh, okay, so uh, if you look at... Uh, if you look at the goal building... Okay, let's look at copy. Um, so if you look at the, the copy building, uh, it copies uh, elements from source, a source slice to a destination slice. Um, everyone read this. The copy. So so this is the this is the crucial part. Copy returns the number of elements copied, which will be the minimum of the um, the source and the destination. So um, using this, uh, we can. Uh, we can combine that with the make function. So uh, <laughs> let's initialize uh, an array. What is uh, uh, initialize a slice? Struct of length um, of length a. Okay, and initialize another struct of length b. So uh, if you look at uh, if you look at if you look at um, you go back to the explanation of this. Uh, when it copies, it returns the minimum of both uh, the source and destination copy, right? Um, and that would give you the minimum um, between the length of a um, the, the length of the first struct and the length of the second struct. So. Okay, let's see. Um, am I missing something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And make. Uh, one more, right? Let's run 
format. This one. Yep. So we get this uh, using the built-in function of. Can I have a symbol one? Sorry. Sure. I have a symbol solution. Oh, you have another solution? <laughs> okay, sure. Someone so from uh, mathematics. When I first read the copy thing, I thought it, it passes the minimum of the length and the. I didn't I think it was the minimum, I thought it was actually saying it's passing just those two methods or whatever they call it. Oh, that's two lines. And divide two. Uh, okay. from mathematically. The first one. Oh, okay, okay. Clean that. Okay. So for men? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Third guy. Okay. Now we have the headlines. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Three lines. Uh, it's actually a big mess. Yeah, yes. you can then do it. Yeah, so um different types. Maybe if you change the type it could work. Yeah, so um so who got the answer this one? You came up with it, right? Yeah. Sorry, what's your name? Political people meet this to do this, right? <laughs> so if you are interested in these kind of challenges, right, there's a uh, competition going on right now called Go Challenge. So I think the site is Go Challenge. Challenge. Just search for it. I think it's far more advanced than this. It's not like one liners, but we have to come up with much more sophisticated solution. But it's yeah, pretty so interesting. You mm -hmm. should check this out. Yeah, so the first challenge is on. For. Yeah, you're up for more uh, challenges, you can check out this page. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if anyone has already started writing this. The deadline is 15, 15 months, so yeah, about two weeks to do that. And, and also, uh, just, just a heads up, uh, the, the challenge that, that we produced just now, uh, we actually got it from an existing challenge. Uh, it's run by uh, Dave Cheney. He's this uh, evangelist in, in Go, and he came up with this. Actually, the solution was also from him, so I didn't come up with that. Uh, so I don't very regularly. He did that about a couple of months ago and we thought it was really interesting. So that um, if, if you go and check out uh, his website, there are actually a lot of other solutions that people propose that are, that are worth looking into. Uh, so that is, okay, so, so that's all for today's uh, Go Meetup. Um, we are looking for speakers for the next meetup. So if any of you are keen, you can approach again me, um, Mark, or uh, Soros. Yeah, Soros over there. So um, we have a couple of announcements. Um, I think I'll let the, the PayPal guys go first. Yeah. So uh, um, thank you, PayPal, for sponsoring the venue today. Thanks, Thank you. Today's pizza money was his.